horse shows grief as he mourns his dead master. Us animal lovers know only too well what an incredible bond humans can have with animals. We can see it throughout the animal kingdom in the most unlikely places. I think we need to be careful though not to anthropomorphise here too much. That is to say project human characteristics onto animals and their behaviours which might not actually be there but just look like something familiar to us. For example, I heard a hilarious story about a woman who raised a python from a baby and was convinced they had a special bond, so special in fact that they shared a bed together. One day she became distressed that her beloved snuggle buddy had stopped eating, only to be told by the vet that it was because he was preparing for an extra large meal. Her. Yep, darling Slippy was planning to gobble her up as she slept. So you see what I mean, we should be careful not to expect too much humanly relatable behaviour. After all, we can never really know what's going on inside the mind of a 12-foot reptile. But there are other times when you have to be pretty darn cynical not to find some recognisable behaviours in our animal friends. For example, if you own a dog and you leave the lonesome pooch alone in the house for an hour while you enjoy a little retail therapy, when you get back, they're pleased to see you, right? We see dogs being protective of human children, staying by our sides when we're sick, sheep playing football and seeming to enjoy fun, pigs living inside people's homes and acting like one of the family, even birds too, synonymous with stupidity, you know, I'm thinking bird brain, can show remarkable intelligence and, debatably, even affection. So what about horses? I've got to be honest, I'm not sure about this one. Watch the video and tell us what you think. Maybe I'm just too cynical and you can tell me all about the amazing bond humans form with horses. It's just not my animal area. We have horses in the field next to us and I've always found them difficult to connect with. I've gone to say hello and brought them a carrot and stroked them and asked them how they were doing and they've always given me the silent treatment, never said a word to me. I'm kidding, of course, but I mean I've never really had horses in my life, so I don't really know what to expect. So in the video you're going to see some photos taken at the funeral of Wagner Lima, a 34-year-old cowboy who di died tragically in an RTA in 2017. The photos have gone viral because everybody there knew that Wagner's horse Sereno meant the absolute world to him, and it seems that the feeling was mutual. In the video you can see the heartbreaking moment when Sereno seems to recognise his master's scent inside the coffin and approaches to get closer, resting and rubbing his head on the casket. A lot of people witnessed the event, and in the photos you can see that there are others taking photos and videos. Wagner's brother Wando was leading the emotional funeral procession with his recently deceased brother's beloved horse Sereno and also witnessed the event. He said the horse was everything to him and it was as if he, the horse, knew what was happening and wanted to say goodbye. There is a glimmer of light in this tragic situation in memory of his brother's love for his horse Sereno Wando has decided to take him on and look after him himself. And that must have been an incredibly difficult thing to do at a time when the smallest tasks must have seemed like such an effort or so pointless, but perhaps Wando saw some way to keep the memory of his brother alive and close and to honour him in his passing. Like I said, I don't really know a lot about horses. Dogs, dogs I get. But apart from watching all 10 seasons of Heartland on Netflix with the fam, I just don't really know. Honestly, I just don't know horses well enough to know how they compare to others in the, in the animal kingdom in terms of intelligence or capacity for an emotional response like grief or sorrow. I'm a mad animal lover. I've just never really had the chance to get close. So I don't know what to make of this. What is going on here? Is this horse scratching its nose on a familiar smell? Has it gone over to a box which he remembers as the scent that gave him food? Or is the horse displaying emotion, upset or even grief? 
share this emotional and somewhat challenging story with your friends and family. See what they think.